can turn the world on with her smile. Mary Tyler Moore, the name just rolled off the tongue, and it was inextricably connected with TV. For much of the 1970s, the country spent Saturday night tuned in to the Mary Tyler Moore Show, watching America's sweetheart Mary and the WJM gang in a fictional Minneapolis TV newsroom. I mean, I am the associate producer on the show. It was Moore's career-defining role, and for a generation, the show symbolized a cultural shift, an unmarried, 30-ish woman in the workplace. She was born December 29, 1936, in Brooklyn, New York. Her family moved to California when she was eight, and she was still in her teens when she landed her first showbiz break in Hot Point commercials that ran during the Ozzie and Harriet show in 1955. Not long out of Catholic high school, she married and had a son. But Mary wasn't planning to be a stay-at-home mom. The Dick Van Dyke Show. In 1961, she landed her first starring role with The Dick Van Dyke Show, cast opposite Dick Van Dyke. Mary played Laura, wife of comedy writer Rob Petrie. Laura dressed in capri pants in a time when TV housewives sported skirts and aprons. The show ran five seasons and made Mary Tyler Moore a household name. As her career took off, her first marriage to Richard Meeker crumbled. They divorced in 1961. A year later, she married television executive Grant Tinker. The pair created MTM Enterprises with its Kit Meow stamp, produced several successful TV shows, Hill Street Blues, The Bob Newhart Show, Rhoda, and most notably, You Got Spunk. The Mary Tyler Moore Show. Seven seasons, 29 Emmys, and three Golden Globes later, the show ended, and Moore found it difficult to shed Mary Richards from her image. So the TV comedian turned to Broadway, earning a Tony Award for Whose Life Is It Anyway? She also shined on the big screen. It's starting all over again. In 1980, Moore gave an Oscar-nominated performance in the motion picture Ordinary People, which depicted a family dealing with tragedy. Tragedy struck Moore's family the same year when her only son, Richie, died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. It was later ruled accidental. The following year, Grant Tinker and Moore ended their 19-year marriage. However, she found love again with third husband, Dr. Robert Levine. With her new spouse at her side, Moore came clean about her decades-long battle with alcoholism. In 1984, she checked herself into the Betty Ford Clinic. A type 1 diabetic, Moore devoted much of her later years to advocacy. She became international chairman of the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation and campaigned for embryonic stem cell research and animal rights. In 2009, she released her memoir, Growing Up Again, Life, Loves, and Oh Yeah, Diabetes. The TV icon continued to act by making guest star appearances on various network shows. In 2011, she underwent surgery to remove a benign tumor from her brain, but recovered. The seven-time Emmy winner carved out her place in television history by being a pioneer who opened doors for women. Even though life wasn't always perfect, Mary Tyler Moore really did make it after all.